I'm back with a new video and today's video is going to be a brand new Ipsy unbagging video. This is September's Ipsy bag. So let's open it up and see what is brought in store for us this month. Oh my goodness. I think I'm opening it. Oh no, no. Only one way to open it. Duh. So here is the bag and it's this like tan looking bag. It's okay, I'm not too too fond of it. The color itself in the back, it's more like it looks more like a gold and I do like it, but I don't like much of this pattern that it has up in the front. And then it has the postcard, the little theme, and it's ESPN. And it's Desi Perkins in the front and it says Face Fashion by Ipsy. So pretty much the face of the future, so the glam that will get you the face of the future. And then actually, I was going to say the first product that comes in my bag, but I actually got a product in my little pink bag. It's a full-size product, so that's already a plus. And it is this Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine Brazilian Smooth Flat Iron Express. And it is difficult to straighten hair, so it is if your hair is difficult to straighten this is something you might want to consider using um and it has brazilian murmur butter and argan oil i don't know if i sounded out that i said that correctly oh it's muru 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 and it's supposed to be a leave-in balm that reduces flat iron time for long lasting silky straight 450 degree heat protection so this might have been a good idea to have used today that i straightened my hair but I'm definitely going to be trying it out next time because as you guys know, I have been trying to pamper and take care of my hair as much as I can so it can grow out nice. As you guys know, I've always struggled with my hair. It was so damaged because of the blonde that I had in it. So I do want to use different products that I can um, leave in or use before straining my hair or curling, uh, curling it or doing anything to it that has heat in it so I can protect it. So this is definitely a product that I'm excited to use. It's full size. I believe it's full size. It looks like it's full size. It's a good amount of product in here. So definitely going to be using it. I'm excited for this one. So, so far, we're off to a good start, Ipsy. And let's jump right in now to the little baggie, what comes with it. So here are this little mini palette. I don't know if this is the full size, but it's Ipsy and NYX. And let me show you the colors that come in it. So they're very neutral colors. It's kind of like a color, like a three color combination to create a smoky eye. That's what it looks like to me. And let me see how the pigmentation is. I don't know if you guys can see. This is the first color. It's slightly pigmented. It's not as pigmented as I would have liked it to have been. But then again, if you're gonna use it as a highlighter for your brow bone, it probably might be okay. And then the second color, they're not that pigmented. I don't, don't really like that too much. But here's the second color. And then the third color is the black. So obviously the black is a lot darker. So they're the browns are more shimmery, but they're not as pigmented. So that I'm not too happy about. But we'll work with them. Probably try it out to create a smoky eye with this one. It doesn't say it is for smoky eye, but looking at the colors, I can assume they are. And then the second product is a waterproof slide-on pencil by the brand Makeup of the Day. It's hashtag MOTD. It is for the eyes and it is a bronze color. And this is what it looks like, which I'm actually thinking I can even apply to my waterline today. This is the color. You guys can see. So it's a bronzy color and I really like it because to create a look like today that I'm what I'm wearing my makeup for today I think it would go perfect for my waterline kind of just to give a little pop or even with just like a, a simple everyday look this would go uh, really good with it so again another full size product so that's already two full size products that I'm thinking it's safe to assume it's two full size and then the little palette but I don't know if this one is either a sample or full size but so far, I am loving this September glam bag because it's definitely putting on for a good look. And I just thought about it, duh. 
these are going to go great together the eyeliner and the palette and then we have a trust fund beauty lavernus it's a nail polish i believe it's a nail polish now usually i know i've in previous videos i'm always like i'm not a big fan of nail polishes because i don't do my nails because i'm too gorilla about it and i can't get you know to do a nice job so normally whenever i would get nail polish i'm like oh you know another nail polish and okay just flew out and put it to the side and i would never use it but now i'm thinking um hello i can always take it with me and get it done in my petty or use it for my mani or i can use them just take them with me and have them you know apply it to me when i go get my mani and petty done so that's what i'm going to start doing so I'm a little excited for the nail polishes now. And this is a very, it's a very nice lavender color. Again, another full size. Although it looks like it's not like fully loaded in there. I don't know if it's a reflection of the light or if it's, that's how it is. But it's a very nice lavender. I don't know if in the camera it looks kind of like a baby blue, but it's not. It's lavender color. So this was actually the color I was thinking of going for next. It's kind of like a good transition color from like summer to fall like kind of getting you in there and then going with like the darker colors because i love dark colors in my nails and in my in my toes for the fall so it's definitely a good transition color so another big plus i don't know how often i am super satisfied with my ipsy glam bag like i almost loving every product so that's that's good and then the last product i'm already like meh it's not all that great it's the temp temp 2 champagne shimmer so this is uh temp 2 is the brand that you apply the little containers onto a little machine which is this one and they're for the the airbrushing uh, makeup um so i don't know if you have to use an airbrush for this because if we do then i'm screwed because i don't have one it says champagne shimmer highlighter so it's a highlighter uh, place a couple of drops on your fingertips and lightly dab onto the apples of the cheeks blending towards the temple so I'm assuming I can do it myself and I don't need the the temp to air uh, professional airbrush here so that's good and oh so it tells me you can radiate and illuminate so you can use it as a highlighter as an eye opener defining contour a power pout and body illuminating so if you also like mix it in with your lotion or your foundation you can use it as a shimmer so there's five ways that you can use this and you do not need the little machine so i guess that's a plus as well so that's a good thing um i just don't know if it, this is a full size of a sample it looks to me like it's a sample but i'm not too sure but it's a champagne shimmer so i'm excited for this one as well so i think I mean, after that, I was like, eh, about it. But now that I know I can incorporate it in five different ways into my makeup looks, then that's a good thing because I get to try something else, something different out. So that included, let me see, one, two, three full-size products for sure. And then the Temp2 and the Little Mini three-color palette. So overall, I could say that i liked the ipsy september ipsy glam bag this month i'm excited to incorporate all of these products into my uh, makeup look so i hope you guys enjoy this new ipsy glam bag video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up on my video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and remember if you're not familiar with the ipsy subscription bag it's a ten dollar fee every month and you get five products and some are full size some are sample size but again you get to try out different things and see what works for you so I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to follow my fashion blog at fashionistaandthecity.blogspot.com. Follow me on Instagram if you're not following me already at fashionistaandthecity underscore. And then on Twitter if you would like to join me in my tweets at sg underscore 24. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.